Good morning. What's good, guys? Just got to the thrift. This is trip to the thrift number 66. I don't like that number. But yeah, 66. That hair, though. Hey. We got two pairs of sunglasses. They have this one right here. Some Chanel's. And then they have some YSL's right here. But they're asking for 50 on each. Way too tax. So. Alright, guys. I see the tip right there and right there. They look like TNs, but we're both about to find out right now. Okay. All black TNs. Probably gonna scoop these up. They're only asking for 15. Yo, just found this all leather Adidas hat. Pretty tight. It's new age, but they're asking for $13. A little too steep. Just found some Gucci jeans they do say made in italy in the tag but i've actually never come across a pair of gucci jeans in the thrift so i wouldn't really know huh <laughs> that's good <laughs> see the back right there gucci and then on the pockets are kind of crazy these are for sure bootleg look how off that is but i mean someone might want to cop this wow look at this kid's polo piece Polo Association. Ah. Ooh, you know we're about to roll that number three though. Bootleg Gucci pouch. Dude, look at this Clippers Jeff Hamilton jacket. Jesus. Asking for a hundred. Crazy. Just found this Polo jeans jacket. I'm for sure gonna pick this up. Says rough one right there on the neck. This is a size. Yeah, I can even see how that. Medium. Yeah, that's a big medium logo. Look at that inside. And then it actually has RL67 right there on the wrist. And the pockets are crazy, but it goes all the way down. For sure, scooping. The color blocking is crazy, too. Patagonia jacket right here, but look at that. 60? I got this double XL. Uh, vintage Nike. Shiny tank top. I would actually rock this, but they're asking for eight. Yo, look at these three bootleg Gucci suits for kids. This is one. This is two. I might actually get this one. This one's kind of tight. Let's take their up. And then we got this one, but it's like brown. It's got a Gucci like bear right there. Dude, these are kind of crazy. I might get these two. Let's see if there's any more. We got this full Nike. Track suit, a little newer though, size XO. Old school Kobe's, the Robux. Yo, it was good. I just got to school right now, but I actually got a package in the mail, so I wanted to open it. I might as well do it right now. In the car, ordered it from eBay. It's a, uh, it's Nike boy. Okay, quality feels pretty good. Dang, this piece is, oh my god, bro. This is so far. <laughs> yeah. Size XL. Vintage gray tag Nike T. Oh my god, this is fire. Dang, I didn't even realize this logo is actually like all leather. Dang, and it's like all embroidered and everything dude <laughs> guess times nike Woo! let's go boy dang this thing is fire yeah i'm for sure rocking this on my birthday it's about to be lit about to be super lit well yeah so i did this little unbagging for you guys but it's time for me to go to school so peace yo just got home from school. It's time to hit Goodwill. Got these Kobe 10s right here, size 13. It's actually aren't in bad condition. They asked for 25, and I saw another pair right here. Right here. These are pretty cool too. Bruh. Just found this pair of short shorts, surf style. For sure, picking this up. This is fire. Yo, what's good? 
Just got back home. I uh, just wanted to show you guys some of the pieces that your boy picked up. This is a banger. This is pretty tight. Um, it's a colored block polo jeans RL67 or 63. Let me say it this way. RL67. And then it says Ralph Lauren right here on the side of the um, collar. And it's a puffy collar, so that's super comfy. Um, look at the zippers. The detailings are cool. The zipper goes like all the way down, so that's fire. It's got an orange uh, tab, and then it says RL and orange, and then Polo Jeans Company right there. Overall, this is a really good condition. It's a size medium. Oh my god, look how fire that collar looks. And will be for sale. Right here, I haven't came up on a pair of shoes in a minute. I wish these were my size. I low-key can wear these, but I'm not sure yet. I gotta try them on like after I clean them and everything. But it is a size 12 pair of TNs, um, Nike TNs. Let me give you a closer look. In pretty good condition. Look at the back. Gotta have my face. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, size 12, and now I just, I don't really want to talk about these right now, I just want to unbox the Sean Weatherspoons, or Watherspoons. But yeah, so I'm going to go get the box right now, I'm going to unbox that for you, for you guys, and then I'll show you guys what the shoes look like. I've had them for like four days already, and I just haven't unboxed them yet. Why am I still holding these shoes? Let's go get the other ones. So here's the shoe. Right here, side note, <clears throat> have all these packages right here on the side. Shout out to everyone who's been making purchases. Y'all seriously killing it. I just posted on my story, you guys hit me up, and boom, ships out. I do keep a couple of the pieces because they are grails for me. Or I just want to wear them for at least a little bit, but hope you guys can understand that I just can't sell everything. But yeah, enough talking. Let's just unbox this. Let's see if I have something I can use. To open over here. A wrench? Why do I have a wrench in here? But this will do. I just don't want to ruin the box on the inside. Oh, I can actually dig this in, so this will work. Hell yeah. Damn, I'm hyped to open these. I've had them for a while and I just haven't got the chance to open them. Comment down below though, what do y'all think of the uh the Nike tee that I picked up off of uh, eBay. That shirt's fire. Wearing it on Saturday on my birthday? If you're 21, please come through. Here's the receipt. Don't want to show you guys that. But oh my god. Yeah. Let me take this out. Uh, okay, I thought that was a... Is that a scratch? No, it's not. I thought that was a scratch on the box, but it's not. The box is in very good condition. Yep, it is. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> it's only right that your boy won this shoe. But yeah, so here's the box. You see it's got the corduroy Nike on all sides of the box. Except the bottom and the size part. But let's open the box. <gasps> okay, so when you open it, it says more air right there. Also in the corduroy, it's got this little saying right here. Actually, since most of you guys don't have this shoe, I'm actually going to read to you guys what it says on the inside. Um, it says, more air for the 30th anniversary of the Air Max 1, 12 revolutionaires, revolutionaires were invited to design the future of air. The first ever Air Max designed by the community for the community. The winner was Sean Watherspoon. Shout out to you, my boy. Vintage store owner and lifelong Air Max fan who brought together an Air Max 97 upper and the iconic Air Max 1 midsole. Super fire combination. Um, and outsole. Like the corduroy Nike hats of the 80s that inspired them, they are made to wear and designed to fray which I'm super excited for. I can't wait till they just start looking like beat because that's what just gives shoes and clothing character. Uh, the more you wear them, the better they get. Very, very true. So yeah, I just wanted to read that for you guys. Um, 
Some of you guys probably didn't want to hear that, but some of you guys like details, so I had to do it. On the in on the inside right here, you see the bag. It is the, not bag, but the um, the shoe paper, and it is Nike, and like an all over, oh my god, bruh. You just take this all out. Oh my god, dude. There's some more paper on the inside separating the shoes. Um, so here's a first look at the sneak. Oh my god, these are so sweet. Right, let me pull that. Oh my. Oh, I didn't even realize. I forgot that it came with all the different shoelaces. Damn, dude, was there a fly in this box? Yo, know, my camera's actually about to die. But yeah, you see the extra shoelaces right there, stuff them in, and you see the extra patches with the white lace as well, but it does come stock with the yellow laces. But yeah, here they are. Y'all will see these on feet very, very soon. But such a fire shoe. Uh, I'm not going to talk about them too much. Y'all already know they've been posted on all sorts of shows, social, 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 social media. So you already know what these are about. But yeah, man, first impressions. These are wet, bro. These are, these are so clean. But yeah, it's time for your boy to go cut some hair. I have an appointment right now. So when duty calls, gotta go handle. But God. What's good, guys? Time to let the hair down. Ow, 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 ow. That kind of hurts. Ugh. Got him. Ugh. Let the hair down a little bit. Um, This is going to be the end of the trip to the thrift. I know I'm in a different like outfit. I didn't really get to vlog on my actual birthday night. But if you follow me on Instagram, you would have saw that your boy had a really, really good time. Um, shout out to everyone who came out for real. We rolled like pretty much 50 people deep um, and it was super fun. Shout out to Arena in K-Town for hooking your boy up. The bottle service was amazing. The service was cool. Um, and yeah, that club was just really, 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 really dope. Thank you to uh, Jackson and David Ho for hooking us up and really, really accommodating and taking care of me and my party. Uh, yeah, everyone in my group had a good time, so shout out to you guys, and we'll probably be partying there again, just don't know when, but if you're trying to go party, go to Arena in K-Town. Um, but yeah, so that's gonna wrap this up. I know the thrifting portion was a little short, um, but I was really, really busy this week just because my birthday was coming up, and I really wanted to make this one, like, a special one. I had a lot of people come out, so it was cool. Um, but yeah. April 7th was my birthday. Leave a comment down below. Happy belated birthday. Uh, but yeah, I'm knocking this out really quick. It's actually Monday right now. But yeah, this was Trip to the Thrift number 66. Man, your boy's tired. But I'm grinding. I have an announcement and I'll make it in the next video. But let's just say Poshmark. Stay tuned. But yeah, that's going to wrap up this video. This was Trip to the Thrift number 66 hope you guys stay cozy and you already know the slogan so let's wrap it up uh, to the coziest long hair gang hey man to fashion what is oh <laughs> god